Well, in that case, everybody, welcome back. Well, <laughs> yeah, shut up. Uh, well, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Resilience of Friends podcast. This is episode 61. Uh, I am your resident piece of dog trash, Alex Medoyan. <laughs> and here with, beside me is my brother, Michael. This is the Medoyan's of Friends podcast. If you've never joined us, welcome. Uh, Mike, I'm broken today, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Broken down, beaten. Be- beaten. Bat. Battered. <laughs> and bashed. <laughs> my ankle. Shot. Tuh. <laughs> <laughs> went to the doctor today. He said, Tuh. Yeah. Yeah. I went to the doctor today. I said, hey, doc, my ankle's hurting. What, what, what are you going to do about it? He goes, you know what, Alex? Honestly. Tuh. <laughs> Done. Out for two weeks. Two Done. weeks. Yeah. Get put, put, it, put in my two weeks notice. Yeah. Not to quit for my ankle. <laughs> yeah. No, my uh, long weekend. But I hope everyone had a good one. Uh, again, thank you for joining us. Uh, if you could quickly leave a like, subscribe, comment down the bottom. We'd much appreciate it. Um, one thing like we got to talk about real quick, and I will say that because <laughs> this, uh, this topic, I mean, it's not a hot topic, but it's definitely interesting. <laughs> it's definitely a topic. And, you know, one of those things that's a flash, f- flash fire in the pan right now. Flash in the pan, as you, as you say. Okay. Um, NFTs. Yes. Dude, I don't I mean, I don't really get it right now. I don't know if anybody actually really understands what's going on. For sure. But there's some craziness going on, and you people kind of have to know about it. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say you can make some money because I don't know how you can make money. <laughs> and we're not sure if you can. I don't know if you do make money. I don't know how you put money in or even take money out. Because um, I don't think you can right now. I don't think you can either. I think you just have... Money sitting in credit account that you value. Sold. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, it's just a valued credit mm-hmm. on whatever. Um, so, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, you're, you go out and buy a couple of NFTs or a couple of packs of what I'm going to talk about in a second, and you're going to all of a sudden be Millions. Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Shit. Throw back to our last episode. Go check it out. Wow. Or two episodes ago. It's called a callback. Yeah. I honestly have no idea. Two. At this point, it's two. Two, yeah. Um, but for those of you that don't know, and I'm sure most of the people that are listening to this probably have some idea um nfts non-fungible tokens Mm -hmm. are crypto based assets digital assets of all kinds all kinds yeah digital art art gifts icons emojis anything anything and everything digital is digital people are coming out with it you know producer uh, podcast i listen to they're putting out 10 uh, only 10 first like first one ever that they're going to put out and it's like limited so like if you have this one you know one what is 10, it it's just a their beat maker logo and it's just a, it's just spinning that's so stupid but it's like it's our it's the first one it's yeah. the only you know there's only 10 it's exclusive so like it's going to be expensive but like what like just because just because something is limited means it's expensive now yeah. like but anything. what if i don't want it yeah anything yeah like oh but yeah the, what if i'd rather not yeah, they're just manipulating su- like low supply equals high demand. Yeah, no matter what it is, two of these, many dollars. Yeah, so many dollars. Yeah, um, but it's crazy. Like people are making or millions. M- yeah, hypothetically making. There are selling, crypto, not getting money. Crypto yeah. pets. Oh are, really? Like um, one point four million dollars. That's disgusting for a, a, a digital cat. That's like not even at, like a. A cat. It's like a, it just sits a, there. It's like a, 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 a dragon like character thing, but they call it a cat. Like it's it doesn't make any fucking sense. It's called Webkins, folks. Basically, it looks it, like it's Webkins, been created. Yeah. But but this Webkins is worth one point four million dollars yeah. because it's a one of one. Basically, it is Webkins. It's it's just a one of one Webkins. It's a limited Webkins. Yeah, and but you don't do anything. There's no there's no games or anything to have with it. And that's dumb. What, and that's why that you would can make s- it valuable. That should be someone. If your YouTube video is not titled "Webkins Greater Than Sign NFTs," you're missing out. Sounds like we have our title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there you go. So that's gonna be our YouTube yeah, video. So, so, don't, so even use it. don't copy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the cra- the the craziest. So, your opinion, real quick though. What are, what are your thoughts about it overall? Like, you know, something you'd look into, something you'd. I think some of them have some uh, a good use and actually make sense, and others are basically scams. Yeah. 
because at some point if everyone can just release their own nft like a random producer beat producer podcast yeah. can just release an nft of their logo some people are going to lose major cash yeah. buying these so much like that's going to be worthless in about two weeks yeah. maybe five minutes after it's released yeah because it's like a who's uh, getting caught with the back but it's also like a very niche thing like yeah how many you know there's a lot of people that make beats these days like i'm not you know uh, it's a very flooded market but, but why would you want it but like that's a very niche group of people that yeah. are going to be like damn that's sick or even the group of those people that even know about this podcast you know mm -hmm. like oh damn you have that that's so like any normal person would be like nice i think the sports ones are dumb too the, the fact that there's transition. a a nft of a normal highlight of the tv camera is ridiculous that i can just search on youtube it does not make sense why like random zion or whoever's oh, oh, highlights are going for, for 200 you. plus thousand dollars i got more for that you. makes no sense it makes it doesn't make sense yeah because a lot of the highlights are like rebounds they're rebounds, but it's also not even a different camera angle. It's literally it what you could see on TV yeah. watching the game. Yeah. I don't own that. No, or if you – no, that's the thing. The NBA owns that. And they're that. trying to make it – like, yeah, that's the thing. And it's it's the same thing as the music thing. They bring up – this is the thing they're bringing up in music. And I've seen now that there's going to be NFT music stuff, like, that's going to change the music industry because you will own this piece of content. But when you buy a song on iTunes, you don't own the song. You yeah. own the right to the song. But – you don't now own the rights to this clip like the what did the M is that why the, is this like the nba top shot like is this the nba as a organization putting out these clips so they are like behind top shot okay so and a lot of people think they're funneling money into these big sales and it's all fake that's a that's a a uh, what's it called conspiracy, conspiracy theory that is quite the conspiracy right i mean <laughs> i could so see it of course. I mean, if they're just why would they basically want? moving money that they yeah. already had. Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't they? Just giving it to themselves. Yeah. But I, you, 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 I was, I was gonna say, but you'd think that they were part of it because they're if they're selling the, I don't even know the license. To oh, this it's definitely licensed. Yeah, of course, it'd be so clip. illegal. No, I know, but that's what I mean. Like, the, what do you, you see now? You just own this in this form of a clip but the funniest I don't know. part is that like it's the 3d like gif cube and like some of them are just like the games they lost <laughs> so it's like how cool is that even if you you know you look at the game and it's like oh they took a fat l yeah more like you know his stat like there was one i saw it was like a lebron dunk and his stat line he had like 15 points <laughs> it's like you know how, how cool is that in a game where you, you know lebron played the worst he's probably played i think the ones that could be cool are um the ones i mean they've already existed though like in video games where you can buy a certain like skin yeah and that's would, limited i think that's fire like yeah because fortnite you, could fuck up some nfts yeah like fuck up some NFTs. The next CSGO. yeah dude people were making thousands on on fucking csgo on skins because you play a lottery system and it you generate a random skin and it could be something worth like seven thousand dollars and not even they could go a step further even though this kind of be would kind of be kind of fucked up and pe i don't know i'm not sure how much people would actually like this version hmm. like that version you're gonna it's a random thing that you get gifted this thing yeah. but imagine if they auctioned off like a yeah. one a oh one of God. ten black panther skin or whatever yeah with on variation. fortnite yeah. yeah oh my God. a white black panther skin i'm not sure if people would be in uproar about that oh but like you know I mean, what I mean? Just visually, that like, like a white Power Ranger. Like yeah, exactly. I would, dude, ass. I could not, like, I was going to say that. Yeah, like, um, but that's what I mean. It's like, you know, like yeah, gold, some people might be mad Gold about, outline, like, yeah, like accents. Fire, the whole dude. necklace is gold. Like, and the whole a, thing like is just, a shiny Black Panther. Bro, <laughs> that'd be stupid. Um, but I, if you're listening, Marvel, I know you are not done with the movie yet, so. Yeah, make it a variation. Given that. Yeah, white and red, that. white and red is a fire combo. A any any the variation. White, gold, I mean, white and gold would be stupid. Yeah, dummy hard. I feel like he's gonna. Cool. I feel like he's gonna come back like uh, you know the scene when uh, Simba looks up into the the stars and you know sees Mufasa. Sees Mufasa. <sighs> That'd be. I think crazy. that could possibly happen. That'd be wild. But not to get off the topic really quick because I do want to mention some of these stats mm -hmm. about NBA Top Shot and you. Had, it was a good transition before. Um, some of the I was on top shot just to look around see what it's about fourteen dollars for a pack mm -hmm. you get well, i think three cards whatever they're called is that what they call them cards i have no idea 
You had three gifts. Bro, some of these things are really ridiculous. So one of the things is that the lower the serial number is of the, the clip, the higher the price is. Yeah. And then also the... Of course. No, I know. But the jersey number, serial number, is most of the time the most amount. Because if it matches up. If it matches up. That, that's just like in cards. No, I know. I'm just saying. Well, like, in cards, like, if you get a, yeah, a 20, you know, a LeBron 23 out of 99. But I'm saying, like, if you got a 23 out of 25, like, that'd be way crazier. Yeah. But, like, the one number 20 or 23 is pretty insane. But there is currently, and we're talking about random fucking clips, a Taco Fall clip. That goes for two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It has to be fake. No one's paying that. No, that's uh, wh- what? Yeah, that makes no sense. Taco Fall. Yeah, and it's and it's like it's like a block. It's just a random block of Taco Falls, and it's two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Are you serious? There's a, a Jalen Brown that the minimum ask is three thousand, and it's like a, it's like a dunk and a loss. But the the craziest thing to me. Is that someone could spend fifty thousand dollars on the same clip that, and someone could also spend three thousand dollars, and they both have the same clip? Yeah. What? That that does that seems unbelievably stupid. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what else, much else to say. Like, I just don't get it. Yeah. I don't get why. It's yeah, me either. And people are like, why can't there be both? Like, cause why would there be? People, what do you mean by both? Like, uh, it's either cards or NFTs. Oh, 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 oh. Why can't it be both? Because one's dumb. <laughs> one's yeah. really dumb. Yeah, be, and, and and no one has any. Yeah, it, oh. and there's so many. Like you said, there's so many that could be just random fucking shit. Like, and hey, anyone. bro, come come check out my NFT collection. Just next, next, yeah. next. Oh, this is a nice steal. Next, and I have the things are gonna be. You're gonna have to. The camera clicked. You're going to have to explain to people. Like, no, the, the point is, like, you know, like with Pokemon collections, like, people know, like, a lot of the time that people that collect cards know, oh, wow, do you have that card in your collection? That's pretty crazy. People aren't going to be like, what's that little pixelated guy that's right there? Or this fucking animal? Or that, you know, fake painting? Like, mm. what is this? But they're saying that, like, one day... That can't, that frame is going to be, be digital. Throw up. And you're going to be able to put your NFTs on there. I think the art side could be cool too. It's definitely the kind of the same thing. I I can see that being cool. Like if you, it's just like having a Picasso. I guess if you had a digital an art a digital artist made a one of three. I I guess that would be cool too. Yeah. But I'm saying more Top Shot. I think is really stupid. But I can see it in the other aspects more, but not totally. Yeah. And like my question is like that's why yeah I. <sighs> You could just spend fourteen dollars, and all of a sudden, you just make fucking fifty grand off of a, a, a cli- you know, off of LeBron's dunk. Like, hey, thanks for dunking LeBron. Made me fifty k. Yeah. But and then again, you can't take it out. Yeah. What do you, you know? And also, how do you buy these things? What? I, ugh, it's just fucking insane. But it's just like, just one thing after another, with you know, cryptos and. Uh, and the making them, you know, making money. Just anything like real quick that people are going to make money off quick. That's all what people are looking for. Mm-hmm. Speaking of like kind of new trends yeah. or uh, the younger generation, you know, coming all with these new things. Yeah, those whippersnappers. Of, yeah, of yeah. Sorts. Different ways to make money. Really anything. Do you think kids these days are going to be, you know, when they mess up saying, whoopsie, instead <laughs> of, you know, oh, whoops. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I fucking hope so. Yeah, yeah, that would be. If they're like, not, yeah, that's they're, bad parenting. Oh my god, like, well, not even bad, <laughs> yeah, well, bad parenting, but they're, they're just doing it wrong. They're yeah. taking, they're not taking advantage of the culture. Every, they're what they're growing up with. Every opportunity they have. I mean, that's just like someone's all the privileges of being be a like child. A, a you know a podcast in like twenty you know eleven twenty twelve being like you know uh, you know when when you just want to do something and go wild and crazy and you know. You know, and we only, we only live once, right? Like, you just, you're gonna, you know, I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna go and send it. But then after that, you know, they're like, no, no one will ever say anything else. Fucking YOLO comes around. 
then send it. And people, t- but send it did come. But I'm saying YOLO came around and we took, you know, people took advantage of that. Mm. They really went with it. Yeah. If people aren't going with, whoopsie. Yeah. They're doing, whoopsie. It, they're doing it wrong. Yeah. That would be fucking hysterical, dude. Yeah. Like, you know, you're, you're in a uh, second grade coloring class and you go outside the lines a little bit. Whoopsie. Can I have another <laughs> one? <laughs> second grade, that is. Yeah. I, I, if people in second grade. Bitch, I want to sign some movie. Yeah, yeah, yo. <laughs> if like blue cheese, so I'm addicted to the blue the cheese. Whole, the whole, yeah. <laughs> the whole class gets up and yeah. just starts dancing. Yep. Oh my god. No, I was the. I was. It's funny because I'm like second grade. I was thinking of uh of people in the office doing that, like they're in their cubicle and they're just like whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, what was that? Yeah. Ah, oh, not nothing. No, that would, that would be funny. As funny. You get your SAT scores back? Shut up. Whoopsie. Whoops. Yeah, your parents are screaming at you. <laughs> your, your life is over. What do you have to say for yourself? Whoopsie. <laughs> get out. Get out. And then you just walk up. Bitch, I'm on the movie. Mom, I'm swearing I'm addicted to blue cheese. It's a lifestyle. I gotta get this chicken like it's a two-piece. <laughs> Like it's you a, just don't get it. Yeah, like it's a two piece. Yeah. And why would why would you want a two piece? Where are you going to get yeah. a two piece? Yeah. Are you not that hungry? Yeah. <laughs> CJ, so many questions. Yeah. The, and also, just go for the third. Like. Yeah. Popeye, Popeye's. He's like, yeah, I just want two. Sir, we don't do that. <laughs> uh, do you know who I am? Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. And he just goes. Whoop dee. And they're like, holy shit, are you CJ? <laughs> <laughs> you sing that song. Yeah, oh my God. I didn't recognize you, but the voice, man. <laughs> Saw a video of some kid. He was some little kid. He was rapping. I'm like, did you see this? No. On the boardwalk. It's like him outside, some little white kid rapping. He's like, now that you know how I be, yeah, you know I'm a star. Yeah, you know and I'm a three. And like, it's like not good rapping. He's just like doing some kind of cadence and they're like okay okay and then at the end cj walks by and he goes cj whoop d and and it like kind of went everyone was like holy shit and they were wor- worried about the kid saying that then it, cj walking by that's great it was hysterical. that's amazing he just stopped mid and goes cj whoop d <laughs> i need to see that video asap no, it was dude it was fucking so funny Good for him. Oh, yeah. Made the most, the most of the opportunity. Right. Wasn't at first, but totally nailed it at the end. He was like, throw a word out. Throw, throw a word out. Trying to do it himself. CJ. <laughs> no, CJ. <laughs> Whoop, he's right there. Yeah, like he, did, like he didn't even know he And was then just coming. kept going. That was, it was great. Or like the guy that we see at the gym all the time. Oh, my God. Spitting image of CJ. I know. Oh, it's, yeah. It's I just want to like, if he's doing like lap pull down one day, just whisper in his ear. Whoop, dude. And he's like, enough, I get it all the time. Yeah. He probably gets it. I want to ask him that, too. Yo, do you get it all the time? Yeah, you have to. I've never seen someone look more like someone else. I've never even seen someone look like CJ. Yeah, honestly. When I saw him for the first time, it was shocked me to the core. Dude, not many people... I I wish I could remember the times, like, when I pictured someone to look differently than they do. Yeah. Because in recent memory, I I feel like I that happened before. But this was a big one. When I saw the music video, I was like... Damn, yo, CJ's from Cranston? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he went to East, yo? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he just went to New York for the video? Yeah, dude. I'm like... Dude, when I saw him, I was like, yo, I feel like I've seen... I've known, yeah. like, three of these kids. <laughs> I know five CJ's. Yeah, five CJ's. Played play AU basketball with all of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, fucking. Uh, one thing I I heard the other day that I thought was fu- pretty funny. Mm. Um, I think Gaelic told me this. Yeah, this radio station was doing a guess the sound competition. Okay. What sound was it? That's the thing. You had to guess. Well, yeah, you did have to guess, but <laughs> it was such an unnatural sound. Like, yeah, I know anything could be unnatural. What did it sound like? It, it to me, it sounded like a three-hole punch, like a, but it was like, it was definitely um, not modified, but it was like a digital sound. Like it wasn't the real sound of whatever it well, was. Well, man-made. So it was so hard to un- like to really understand what it was. So. And I thought it was gonna be pretty easy, like whatever it was. You're like. Fuck out of here. Three pole punch. It, I heard it the first time and almost like made me uncomfortable because I was like, what the fuck was that? So what was it? It's still it's still up in the air. I wish I could tell you. I, the listeners at home are going to be squirming, but 
You uh, don't know? No, I don't know. The, the, the whole point is why I'm bringing this up is because they had to guess the sound competition. How, I is, thought it would be like, moo. <laughs> no, I didn't think it would be like, moo, but I thought it would at least be just like, I mean, you want you don't want to make Cash it too register? easy, but something like, you know, I don't know. But I just thought it was, I've never heard of a guess the sound competition. I thought that was so bananas. Do you have to come back days later for the answer, or you just didn't know when they were saying the answer? It's just that someone calls in at some point and guesses oh, the right okay. answer, yeah. and like, then they will fucking win the guess the sound I see, I see. And like every day that you know they get a call and they get more and more wrong answers, they're like, all right, well, it's uh, it's not coffee, you know, it's not this, it's not this, and they're like, okay. so this has going been going on for years. That's what I. They was still thinking. haven't found the answer. When was this radio station created? Yeah, this has been going on since 1972. Wow. Yeah. Damn, they've been playing Bob Dylan and guessing the sound since 1972. Yeah, I'm totally guessing. I couldn't think of anyone that's been around since the 70s. Since 72. Yeah, yeah I hope fine. I hope Bob Dylan's one of them. I would assume Bob Dylan's been around since 72. Probably. probably. You think? I, Our parents would be fairly young if still listening to Bob Dylan. Um, I mean, yeah, let's find out. What would you say? 72. 72. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what they would have listened to as, you know, children. Yeah. You know? Oh, my God, that's funny. Uh, oh, yeah, they were listening to the fucking Bob Dylan. How Bob Dylan's they? Greatest Hits, Volume 3, came out in 1973. Oh, my God. So, so, so. Now that is funny. Yeah. I'd say he was well You could tell I'm a big fan, right? <laughs> the Cutting Edge, Bob Dylan, the, what the fuck, the Bootleg Edition? The Bootleg Series. Deluxe edition, Bob Dylan, nineteen sixty five to nineteen sixty six. Good God. So before yeah. they were born. Yeah. As they were born. Yeah. So they grew up with Bob Dylan. But like, you know, I, I you know, if that kind of music was what you listened to as a kid when you grew up, I you know, then Bob Dylan was he was rocking and rolling. Yeah. I always think it's funny some of the songs we listened to growing up. I laughed myself often about it. Yeah. I think I've said it before. I think we've talked about it before on the podcast, but not not to extent. But, dude, you go scroll back and just go to the, the beginning. Here, I'll do it right now. Just for the, the, the viewers, the listeners. So I'm going to go to the bottom of our, not going to lie to you, rather extensive iTunes library. I mean, it's probably been since the early 2000s, no? 2005. That's unbelievable. 16 years. How many songs? I'm going to find out. 17,875. No, not 17K. I'm still scrolling, folks. Still scrolling. Yeah. Those are big swipes. Big swipes. I'm really going. Yeah. Like he's got... Uh, you know what sucks? It doesn't say at the bottom of this one. Oh. Uh, but first song we ever purchased, mm -hmm. Sugar We're Going Down Swinging by the Fall Fire. Boys. Yep. Really good song. Gonna Iconic. Play this. Yeah. Um, could be the song of the week. Just you know what? Just go listen to that song right yeah, now because no. it's fucking honorable great. mention. Um, Mr. Brightside second. Like I'm just classic. gonna give you the first five songs. Yeah. Somebody told me by the Killers. Yeah. Beverly Hills by Weezer and Give It a Little Bit by the Goo Goo Dolls. Wow. But then you start scrolling up a little bit. Just a little further. We have Lonely by Akon, oh. which I remember exactly where I was when I heard that song for the first time, and it's gonna make you laugh. I was in fourth grade, and Jerry Aquendo showed that to me by the Cubbies. Wow. He's like, dude, this song's bomb. And I was like, wow. Who's that? And he's like, this is Akon. I was like, oh, cool. That's Went home, put on the iTunes. That's so dope. Um, yeah, so you got, you know, A The ton Candy of Man by Sammy Davis Jr., yeah. some Nickelback, some more Fall Out Boy. Yeah. And then, you know, Temperature. Sean Paul gets in there a Oh, bit. my God. I've always like I've always thought of that if someone you know if I ever got interviewed for something and they were like what music did you grow up with I'd be like T Pain Akon Sean Paul, Paul. Yeah. Um, I was listening to Ride Maker by Tech Nine at the age yeah, of like that. seven or eight um, we now we're getting into it we got Smack That yeah now we got Walk It Out by UNK oh my God uh, Snap Your Fingers I mean obviously Do You Step and then it starts to really, it's really trickling in more. But this is the funny thing about music. Mm -hmm. In the mid 2000s, like rap music wasn't like, ra you know, like trap. I know it's like trap rap right now, but like the big rap songs were like mainstream, like Club radio hits, hits yeah. like, you know, pop, basically pop songs, which is hysterical. But that's, you know, a lot of Akon. Chris Breezy. Chris and Neo's on here. Neo, yeah. The Chris Dream. Brown, the Dream, yep. Um, 
but Rick it's Ross. So f- yeah, Rick Ro- definitely Rick Ross. You know, Shot Boys, Party Like a Rock Star. Yeah, and then Young Money. Oh, oh Bedrock. Yeah, early, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fire. The, yeah, you- I was listening to fucking Bedrock at like legitimately nine. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, this is a great song. Yeah, and that fucking music video. Parental adv- advisory, very recommended for that. Oh yeah, yeah. Should not have been watching that. Yeah. Now here's and here's all the the, the rap and whatnot. It's so funny the mix, dude. <laughs> it's such a crazy mix of songs. King Kong by Jibs featuring Chameleon Air. Oh my god. Yeah. Chameleon Air. Ba- dude, police. Fire. Isn't that what it's called? Uh, uh hip hop police. Oh yeah. And riding dirty. I mean yeah, but. Here I am by Rick Ross. Here I am. You know what? That's my song of the week. Yeah, that's a fire song. <laughs> what are we at right now? Um, 26. Okay, let's keep going for a little bit. But I'm not going to keep going through the iTunes songs. Yeah. So no one needs to listen to that no. too much. But but like I, the reason for that was just because like how funny it was, this, the, the stuff that we were listening to. And like even for you, like just because we were listening to it, you would listen to it. And like I just can't even imagine being that young, like listening to shit like that. It's mm-hmm. so funny. Because, like, when I was, yeah, so if you were nine, what, how, what, what grade are you when you're nine? Um, fourth or fifth, I think. Yeah, so fourth or fifth grade. Yeah, I wasn't listening. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just said fourth grade was Akon's Lonely, but mm-hmm. that means you were listening to that, or it was on the iTunes when you were in fucking kindergarten. kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, like. When I was playing uh, fucking kickball with you guys at uh, Forest Park. Yeah. That's one of my fondest memories of, of elementary school. Playing kickball with us? I was in football. kindergarten, and you guys were in fifth grade. And I got, like, one of your friends out in kickball. Oh, that's fire. And I was, like, an infant. <laughs> yeah. And I was, like, an infant. Yeah, but you, because you were there for, yeah, that's funny. Yeah, oh, kickball is so good there. The dude. one year we ever went to school together. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Because the one year, this is just extended the years. Or kindergarten and fourth grade, I forget. fourth grade, because yeah. I wasn't there in fifth grade. Yeah, exactly. I just, that's what made me think of it. But, wow, that's funny. My phone, one of my fondest memories, again, one of your friends out. Because, yeah, they're probably pissed. I, I don't have many memories from that young. <laughs> I don't. I don't at all. I don't remember probably a lot. Remember how like, big of a, de- a, a, a deal recess was? Dude, the best. And losing recess? Yeah. Like, we're like, yo, we're not going to have recess yeah. anymore. Yeah. We're going to middle school? We're not yeah. going to have recess? Yeah. What the fuck is that? Bro, what the fuck? What are we supposed to do inside all day? <laughs> go school all day? Yeah, all day. What do you mean have to do school all day? We don't get to go outside? Yeah, but then you get out at 2.30 or 1.45. Yeah, but it that, was becomes, 230. that yeah. becomes more relevant for yeah. you. That, bec- that becomes important. Mm-hmm. And But then, dude, recess was like the thing. Mad fun. Even, Foursquare at Quinesset. Oh, my God. Very, very Four Foursquare vicious. in general? Absolutely violent. Like, some absolute trash talk was talked there. Yeah. And the thing is, girls played too. Oh, like, yeah. like... Bro, but people some, were shitting on girls. Sometimes you come in and you're fucking sweating from recess. <laughs> right, dude? Sweating from recess. You just played a whole half game of five on five basketball and played a whole, you know, couple oh, rounds. Yeah, of, yeah basketball um, was intense. Fucking whatever, at four square. Yeah. Dude, it, ba- oh, we, at, four, at uh, Quidnessa in fifth grade, yeah. we had a legitimate basketball league. Yeah. Like, like real, like, this was like what you look forward to playing. This was, it was intense. Um, we played a lot of Foursquare at Quinesa. Really? Yeah. Foursquare isn't that with you, but that's the thing. You 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 come in like sometimes you do, you know have those heated matches and you're in, sitting there, <sighs> yeah, <sighs> trying to learn and you're yeah. like, damn, I can't wait for tomorrow. I, I just put in some English on some shit. Like you're about Ooh. to like spike it and then just like Ooh. drop it down low right in front of him. Got him. Yeah. And then w- wasn't there carry? Like- that's a carry. <laughs> wasn't there like? Dude, um- we had to have people monitoring the games. That's how intense they got. Oh, like t- like teachers. Like teachers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Because there was that the many basketball fights. Game, the basketball games, uh, uh, yeah. like I was talking about, they, yeah, they had to have a teacher there. Some kid, oh, no, I'm not even, that's not even, that's on the story. <laughs> but weren't there, weren't there like power moves <laughs> that you could use like during, like for four square? Power moves? Like hot, like hot potato. Like you would, it was like something, like there was moves you could yeah, use. I don't know. Um, like popcorn or yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like yeah. wasn't that something like a yeah. thing? Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to remember, but the, dude, yeah, you could do some crazy shit. No, that touched me. That touched your line. That touched yeah, your line, yeah. dude. Oh my god, four square, or just absolute bombing, power bombing yeah, it, yeah, like, and yeah. you're yeah. like, okay, you, okay. fetch, <gasps> boom, when you get it. Oh, that that's a good feeling. That's like the, that's like where that's definitely where spike ball came from. 
hundred <laughs> percent. It's just free. Like spike balls, just free, free range, uh, four square with only one target. Well, with it, yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like, yeah, for sure. But there's no, uh, you're not confined to any lines. Mm-hmm. Or hitting it like a spin, so it comes. That's it, what I was trying to do. It, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're coming down, you go, boom, and then it goes boom. right back into yours. <laughs> oh, that's so far. Double bounce. He's yeah. like, double bounce. Yeah. Oh man, oh, this is a good one. Dude, like, and uh, how about for uh, this just came, bounced, it came back to me because I was going to think about you know throwing the football around. We played football too. Yeah, same. Um, but when you learn football in elementary school, do you remember how they told you to catch the ball? Like this. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Why would they ever tell anybody to catch like that? I know we're not learning. You football. don't get hurt. You can't get hurt with your hands. Oh, I guess, but. I don't know how I remember that. What? That they told you yeah, to catch like that. Yeah, because it's stupid, bro. Yeah, yeah you, I'm, I'm remember, I don't even remember who the um, gym teacher was at Forest Park. I forgot about that. We did play mad football. Yeah, with the Nerf football. Yeah. Team. And you had to catch it like this. Oh, we yeah. didn't do it like that. What? We had, we had football. like We had like seven on – we had a little seven on seven. No, no. I'm saying in elementary in, – in gym class. Yeah. Have oh, in gym for, class. Okay. No, yeah. we'd have seven – like legitimate route running football. Like, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Get to get it, you know, shirt ripped, getting real dirty when you go back to school. But no, right. for El for gym class, we'd have those like foam, like what, what is it like? Oh, smoosh or smoosh, whatever the brand is, like that old '90s brand that's like knockoff Nerf, whatever that was. That was the the football. Yeah, and you'd catch it like this, like you're catching a punt, but even worse. That was so bad. I remember the uh, the fucking. You know, indoor kickball or whatever uh, in high school. Oh, gator ball? Gator ball, yeah. <laughs> Mad fun. Well, let me follow this up. Indoor kickball, so mat ball is probably what you're mat talking ball, about. Mat ball, but gator ball, uh, uh, yeah, in high school. Yeah, but those are two different things. Yeah, I know. Mat ball, for, I, mean, I guess we got to explain. In elementary school is fire. Yeah, because you're just using the entire gym, yeah. and you have four huge mats as bases. And in the NK's gym... That monstrous basketball gym that there is, that game's so fun, dude. And Gator Ball, Gator Ball was basically like handball and ultimate frisbee and pick your game with a net. Lacrosse, yeah. soccer, hockey, whatever you want to say. You play that outside, right? Gator Ball? Yeah. No, because you no? use the wall. as you, you remember you could use the wall? Oh, the yes. And, and, keep, running. Could, and keep running. Yes, and okay. All I, I'm, I'm, it's all coming back to me now. Yeah. Yeah. And so you'd, you'd have two goals at the each, each end. Mm-hmm. You'd run down, and you can only take three steps. But as long as you're bouncing yes, off the wall, those yes. counted as, as passes. So people, <laughs> Kids were nice at that game, dude. <laughs> filthy, bro. And when they, sometimes they'd have the hoops down. Yeah. And so you'd be running up, and then you'd get the hard O's like me. <laughs> throwing alley oops. Throwing alley oops. You toss it off the backboard to somebody, and so this person thinks you're putting in the goal, and then all of a sudden this other person comes from the top rope and whips it, and people are just like, "I'm just trying to play," and we're having For a real? yeah, but that shit was fun. You get a good team, and it's over. Yeah, because you stick with the same team. That was the other thing was you always had the every same week, team yeah, or every class yeah. or whatever the, you know whatever yeah. you were doing. Well, I kind of already said my song of the week. And I was already thinking about this too. Is that I wanted to start doing some more throwback songs, yeah. um, just like you know, start reminding people of some bangers, like mm. you know, introducing people to new bangers. But I will know, not also. be doing that. What? Throwing out old songs. Oh, that's fine. I was just thinking about doing it more often. Mm-hmm. Um, but mine is definitely "Here I Am" by Rick Ross, featuring Nelly and Avery Stone. And a quick shout out because it's up to Post Malone's uh, version of Only Want to Be With You. Yeah. Very, super very dope. good song. Super, super dope. So if you haven't heard that yet, um, you will be surprised to see Pikachu's tail on the album. Yeah. Um, but that's because that's what it's for. Nothing? I don't know. Too many good ones or not enough good ones? Eh, like nothing like, you know, is really like jumping out. Yeah. No, I feel that. And I, my, the one that just jumping out to me, we've already done. So What? Rover. Oh, yeah. We did do that one. Fire song. Yeah. You know, that's probably one of the first ones we had on the on the, on on the, the, the stories. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's why so, I said it. Rover by um Simba. Simba featuring Lil Tecca. My song of the week is Feel Good by Fresco Trey. Word? Yeah. That's I feel like I've heard that one. I don't know. Maybe. I just feel like I've heard the name of that guy. Um both good songs though. 
um, yeah, definitely. But to Mike's point, I'll definitely be going back and uh, updating the, the Spotify playlist. Honestly, the only reason I don't do it is because I forget about Spotify. Right. And I just, you know, I forget to log into what I is a, a, base, a free Spotify account. But sure. um, no. So but while we're speaking about it, go check out the Spotify playlist. Um, also check out the Instagram where you can check out all of these stories about the songs of the week and the um, clips and definitely the clips. Uh, you can also check out the clips on Medoyans and Friends Clips YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe to that so you can check out all the funniest moments from the podcast. Um, as always, for thank you for joining us. Um, I know what did I say it's sixty one. Mm-hmm. Um, consistency catching up. I, you know we were at fifty pretty pretty short while ago. Yeah. Um, Every I, week since December first. Yeah, and you know we're gonna have, we're gonna start getting the guests back on. It's starting to you know things are starting to slow down a little bit. Starting to get people um, that you know want to be on again. So um, stay tuned for those. Uh, obviously, like we said in the beginning, like subscribe. Some of the comment. buttons on the bottom if you're watching on YouTube, which um, a lot of you are. Most of you are. So um, I, if you're on iTunes, five star rating, whatever you know, whatever you can do there. But very much appreciate it. Share it if you've enjoyed yourself, and we hope you have. Um, And we'll see you in episode 62. Peace. Peace.